In its first two decades, the World Food Prize was, on five occasions, awarded to individuals from India. Each of these remarkable laureates contributed greatly to the struggle against world hunger and in spreading the Green Revolution. In 2005, yet another Indian citizen is being honored, this time for his role in a new Blue Revolution. The 2005 World Food Prize laureate was born in the small town of Bapatla, near the Bay of Bengal. Taken to the sea by his father around the age of eight, young Modadugo Gupta recalls seeing firsthand the plight of poor Indian fishermen. But even though they had little, he saw that they were often able to sustain themselves by the day's catch. This experience instilled in him the inspiration for what would ultimately become his life's work. After completing his primary education in Bapatla, our laureate went on to earn a general sciences diploma from Andhra University. He then enrolled at Banaras Hindu University, where he received a master's degree in zoology before going on to receive his doctorate from the University of Calcutta. Beginning his professional career in 1962 with the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, his focus shifted to introducing freshwater aquaculture, the farming of fish, in rural areas. Remembering his boyhood trip to the sea, Dr. Gupta worked tirelessly to increase fish harvests among destitute inland farmers. First, he demonstrated that those who had little or no capital could still raise and support fish in small ponds by recycling rice husks and weeds into feed. He also showed farmers how to utilize farmyard waste products, allowing them to raise fish and poultry side by side on a small family farm. As our laureate's technique spread, the average annual fish production in India began to increase, eventually rising from barely 0.5 tons per hectare to between 2 to 10 tons per hectare. Dr. Gupta's success soon became known outside of India, beginning what would become a several decades long association with the World Fish Center headquartered in Malaysia. Our laureate took his low-cost approach to Southeast Asia, where he also identified several carp species native to India as being well adapted to the Mekong River environment. By training farmers and scientists in Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia to breed and support these new species, the 2005 World Food Prize laureate was instrumental in increasing fish yields and rural incomes. It was during this period that Dr. Gupta promoted the polyculture technique in which multiple species of fish with complementary feeding habits are raised in one pond. This scientifically structured co-mingling of several breeds of fish rapidly produced larger fish harvests with higher nutritional value. Again, his innovations paid off. And today, the carp varieties he introduced in Vietnam make up 30 to 40 percent of all freshwater fish production in that country. But perhaps our laureate's most dramatic achievement came in Bangladesh. When he began work there, the child malnutrition rate was among the highest in the world. Over 80 percent of the population lived in flood-prone areas with high levels of poverty. Up to this time, capturing fish was a time-consuming activity, producing little economic gain. But our laureate saw that unused ponds, roadside canals and ditches, and seasonally flooded pools that were at the time untapped by fish producers could become a potential source of fish production and nutrition for the poor and landless. Working first with small groups of farmers and families in individual rural villages, Dr. Gupta demonstrated his techniques for utilizing these water sources and raising the fish he selected, which could grow and multiply in just a few months' time. By educating bankers about aquaculture, Dr. Gupta convinced some rural banks to lend the necessary money for poor farmers to buy baby fish or fingerlings to start their own production. As word of this success began to spread, 
Dr. Gupta's work produced an amazing side effect. Prior to the involvement of the 2005 World Food Prize laureate, the participation of Bangladeshi women in fishing was virtually non-existent. But in partnership with non-governmental organizations, Dr. Gupta began training programs that were soon overrun with women eager to be taught his new techniques. We started with a few women, but when they came to know what we have been doing, we got requests from so many that they want to participate in our activities. They are able to add income, additional income to the families, and able to get uh, fish, which is an important uh, protein source to the families in Bangladesh, and also giving a status for the woman in the household as an earning member. Thanks to the teachings of Dr. Gupta and his NGO partners, nearly 65% of all those engaged in rural aquaculture activities in Bangladesh are women and the results have been remarkable. Over one million bodies of water in Bangladesh, which were underutilized before our laureate's intervention, are now blooming with fish. Fish yields in Bangladesh increased from 304 kilograms per hectare to over 2,500 kilograms per hectare in less than a year, and continued to grow by 300% during the 1990s. As a result of the 2005 World Food Prize Laureate's research and outreach, some of Asia's poorest fish farmers can now provide nutrition for their families with enough fish left to bring in added income. In addition to our Laureate's accomplishments with rural fish farmers, he has also served as an inspiration and guide to the next generation of scientists conducting fisheries research. Through his role at the World Fish Center, and the International Network on Genetics in Aquaculture, Dr. Gupta has worked tirelessly to spread his technologies and innovations across Asia. He has trained hundreds of scientists from developing countries in sustaining effective fish production strategies and has been at the forefront in developing new biosafety protection protocols and introducing genetically enhanced fish. In the Philippines, one genetically improved strain of tilapia fish now accounts for one quarter of the annual tilapia market after only five years. But Dr. Gupta's work is far from finished, as he is currently spreading his techniques to rural farmers in African countries such as Cameroon, Egypt, Malawi, Mozambique, and Zambia. And so, 35 years after World Food Prize founder Dr. Norman Borlaug, a son of Iowa, was honored with the Nobel Peace Prize for spreading the Green Revolution to India, it is most fitting that a son of India, who has brought the promise of a blue revolution to the world, is honored in Iowa. For his role in empowering women, for his dedicated efforts in developing fish farming techniques throughout Asia, for his ongoing role in spreading these breakthrough achievements to Africa, and for his selfless and tireless lifetime commitment to uplifting the poorest of the poor, enhancing nutrition for over one million impoverished families. Dr. Modadugu V. Gupta of India is truly deserving to be honored as the 2005 World Food Prize Laureate.